I'm gonna go to our fish trap, and then we're gonna cure some fish for our journey. Now check this out. Look at this thing. Look at this thing! It's almost unfair. It's almost unfair what's happening there. I kind of feel bad. I don't know if that's torture. But if you think about it, it's still better than like a goldfish bowl. Welcome aboard, Captain. So like, you know. I think we have salt in here. We're gonna cure these fish and then we're out of here. I know, I, it does feel a little cruel, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I do feel it. Captain Stormlong says, I one time made a grav trap out by the QEP, which I don't know what that is, and a biter got caught in it with all the other little fish, and oh wow, it was awful. <laughs> I understand some of those words. <laughs> okay, guys, I think our, we're like ready. We're taking out our ion cubes, we've got our keys. Uh, we have all of our Seamoth upgrades, which we're gonna have to swap out after we build our base. How are we doing for bats? I got two batteries. We'll take three. We'll take three. Uh, oh, we also spent a solid 45 minutes getting our prawn suit out of the little lost cavern. <laughs> uh, that was an experience, but it was actually pretty cool. You guys came up with a really good idea. You guys came up with a really good idea to like build a platform. Okay, we're changing this thing's name before we go. From Julian. What what are we calling this? Warning. Emergency power only. The Mick Cafe. What was it again? Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Uh Infernalicon says, since you've played the game for a while, can you tell me if aggressive fish will attack and destroy bases? Not that I've noticed. Not that I've noticed. Oh yeah, the Mick Cafe Deluxe. Done. Full cello. Where's that name? Where is it displayed? Look at. Oh, McDonald's! Please! Please. Look at this. Oh, and you know what? Let's get real. Let's get real. <laughs> uh, how do I make a brown in here? I don't know if I can make like a. It would have to be like a weird. Orangey. He's like, is that brown? It's more orange. How do you make a brown in here? Oh, okay. I think maybe around here. Something like that. And then we got the white racing stripes. Which isn't really white, but that's fine. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, if that doesn't get us the Mick Cafe sponsorship, guys, I, I honestly don't know what will. Uh, okay, we also... Let's just do one thing here. Let me just make sure our base has power. And then we're heading out, okay? I'll keep one of these on me. I think... I think we put some in the... In Dexter's peeper, I think. I'll keep one with me because we're going to want to plant them at the other place. All right, let's go. Power restored. I'm going to get sued for color trademark high. infringement? Probably. You're probably right. Okay, uh. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like humming and hawing about what we want to do here, but it takes me so long to leave my base. Alright, we're full, let's go. 
I have one med kit. That should be fine. Wish me luck. My bot can do the odd rock emote? Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ion cubes are radioactive, right? Maybe you can put the ion cubes in the nuclear reactor for power? I have no idea. I don't know, man. So, I, some people were saying that maybe these can power those gates, but, like, I don't know of a way to interact with these. I can't equip them. So, like, I'm honestly not sure. I'm just taking them because we're going to the alien base, and I'm thinking we probably could use those, you know? All right, so... Check out our... Where's our beacon here? We have to go north northwest. Look it. Alien base 2. The entrance though is a little further than that. I think we gauged it about 1500 meters when we came out. So we're going to go about 7 750 this way. We're going to make a new place. Oh, we need to save. Jesus H. Thank you, guys. Uh, Jesus Crutz Pizza Party, thank you so much for the bitch. Says, when you go to McDonald's to get your coffee, do you ask for a, a coffee or a McCafe? I ask for a coffee. I say an extra large black coffee. And because, like, sometimes, depending on who I get, uh, they may or may not speak English. Because it's, like, mostly French. Uh, then I have to repeat it again. If I, if I, if I said McCafe, they'd probably be like, well, I, what are you even talking about? We can't fit. We can't fit. We do need to repair, though. Ooh. See, look at... Man, that's... This is crazy, because, uh... This is inside the alien base, but to access this is quite a bit further. So really, uh, how far is that away now? 350? Almost 400? We should have turned off that metal salvage scan, but... Hey, sweet! <laughs> Really timely for your username, by the way. Sweet Coffee 1988. Thank you so much for the resub of two months. Thank you, dude. I'm a bit worried that we're not going to be able to find this place. Let's go another 100 meters or so. We could build maybe in this, like, seaweed forest. Oh, maybe we could build in here. This is kind of nice. <laughs> uh, J'aimerais un gros café noir. Merci. Yeah, that's about the extent of it. What do you guys think? Could this be our new home? Is this suitable? Or should I go, like, over the ledge there? I did. I got, yeah, I have the tablets. I totally have the tablets. No worries. Like, should I be maybe building deeper? Hey, what's up, Amuga? How are you, buddy? Like, we could build on a pillar. That would be sick. Okay. These guys might pose a problem. Look at this little area. Oh, look at this! This could be legit. Can we build on these? Guys, I think we found our new home. I think we found our new home. This is actually really cool in here. <clears throat> this is actually really cool. Is that what this is called? Mushroom Forest? Or you, or you just... That's what we're naming it. This is cool. I like it. Home is worth the shroom scrub. <laughs> exactly. 
Now. I'm going to store some stuff in here that's not crucial at this exact moment. We're going to need all this titanium. Store some batteries in here. Okay, let's see. Multi-purpose room. This looks like a pretty good place for our multi-purpose room. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh. Okay, that works, I guess. That works. Now, we had a couple of, like, essential things that we were going to build. We obviously need the hatch. Look at this already. So, hull strength is 7.6. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production. Offline. The uh, bioreactor, actually. Bioreactor. Titanium wiring kit and lubricant. Let's grab those. This is a really cool place to live, actually. Let's get some air. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Can we just agree that I should be the Emperor of Canada and maybe the world? Yes. I would have zero desire to do any type of, like, country leadership job ever. I don't understand the appeal. There's just no freaking way that that would be interesting to me. Tom! What is going- Tom? Tom! 27 months, Tom. Still catching up with the past few Subnautica streams. They're just dropping off to show my 27 consecutive months. Happy streaming, odd and chat. Thank you so much, brother. That's really kind. That's really, really cool. Thanks, man. That's really cool. Uh, thank you, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna do an exterior grow bed. So, let's grab more titanium. We could probably put this... Actually, can I just put it, like, anywhere? Or it probably needs to be connected to power, right? If I put it here, maybe it doesn't need power. Growing acid shrooms. Okay. Good. That's very good. Uh, the other essential things we said we were going to build were uh, the scanner room. So we need a tubular compartment, I think. Maybe if we get lucky. Actually, I don't even know if we need this. Whoops. Let's see if we can connect the scanner room magically. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, see, that looks good, but why not? Is it because there's no platform kind of thing? Is it? I've heard that before. Oh, it's because I think because this thing's in the way. Let's check the other side. Oh, see, we got things in the way here. Hold on, let me deconstruct our hatch. Maybe I can build it out this way. Remember to save. Okay, thank you. Every 15 minutes, if you guys could remind me, that would be great. 
Blood Reaper, thank you so much for the donation, dude. It says, sup, odd, and peeps. Missed the last stream as I was committed to the Shadow of Colossus run that Luckless was doing. Been trying any cool gadgets, gizmos, and not weapons. Uh, cool prawn suit, and you are starting the second base. Awesome. Anything else on the bucket list? Yeah, uh, alien base, dude. Alien base is on the bucket list. I might need to move the peeper out of the way. Let's see. Oh, wait. Copper, ore, and gold. I could start it, but I might as well grab the supplies. Copper, ore... Oh, good. We did bring mushrooms. Table, coral, and gold. Nice. You have to slice the acid mushrooms for seeds. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, I think we had it. Guys, look at this. Just the way that we wanted it. <laughs> the first time. Oh, it's like self-suspending? Alright. That's cool. Doesn't even need its own legs. Alright, not bad. Now, we do need another hatch, though. I think we'll put it uh, right here. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, God, you guys are so smart. It hurts. It hurts. I should probably do that with, uh, maybe I'll take, like, one of, we have two acid mushrooms that we brought because we planned ahead. And I'll take both of these. We're going to use one in the actual bioreactor, and we'll chop one up. I'll place it in here for easy chopping. All right. Done. We'll have mushrooms for days. Hopefully weeks. Then we can put the other one inside. Boom. Look at that. Look at that! We have our scanner... Oh, you know what? One thing we didn't consider... Uh, we didn't consider uh, scanner room upgrades, guys. Did not consider that, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we said we were gonna do... What else were the crucial things? Uh, the moon pool. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. We have those. Titanium ingot, lubricant, I think, was it two lead? Yeah. Moon pool. Does this need a connector? It might. Let's tube it out this way. Oh, maybe this midsection, because it's connected to that directly, doesn't have enough space. And I don't think I can add to here, so you know what? Over here, I guess. I don't know if... See, this thing might be blocking the moon pool, though. It's the only thing. We could just do the... I don't think we want to be doing that, really. Do we? Does the moon pool need a separate connector? I want to say that probably it does. The moon pool's for docking our... Uh, for docking our stuff. Like our Seamoth, etc. 
I could just do a weird, like... Like, if we build this here, I can, I can take it down in a sec, but just hear me out. Oh, it just floats. Okay, we definitely... Oh, see, like, that's ugly. I do not like that. I do not like how that looks at all. Okay, so I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna deconstruct the scanner room. I have a plan. We're gonna build a T joint. And then hopefully we can connect the scanner room and the and this thing. Inventory's full. Well, isn't that just great? No problem. We can solve this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I like when people get really passionate about base building. That's part of what drives me. Alright. So, let's do a T-joint. Here. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay. Then... I think I'm going to change the placement of our scanner room, actually. Let's grab more of the titanium. I think we'll do scanner room out this way. Whoops. What? Why? What doesn't work about that? Do you guys know why that doesn't work? We can do it here. Oh, maybe this would be even better. Maybe we should do like an X tube. Let's try that. Oh, the sea moth? Oh. Wow. I guess the nice thing about this is that it gives more entrances for the same for the same price. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, you come way back here, dude. No, still won't fit. What is that about? Huh. All right. Let's try it on the back side. It won't fit there either. It'll fit here, but then what about our moon pool? I bet you it's something to do with like being too far off the floor. Oh, do I need to build an actual do I need to build the hatch into that? I don't know. Nope. Foundation. Interesting. Interesting. What if... Is that connected? Yeah. Let's see what let's see if I can connect these two. Okay, so that's good. But then, see like I can't go back here. Might have to get might have to get funky. See, like, you would think it could fit there. But it doesn't. Oh, here, here, here. Oh, no, 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 no! This'll work. Wait, is that working? 
That looks like a weird connector. I don't even... Okay, I guess it's working. So I'll tell you what, let's remove this hatch. Every time I build one of these bases, I feel like lost. Like, not... I feel lost, yes, but also like the... Like the show, like the TV show. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Oh, it's here, guys. Look at how sick this looks. Oh, this is so good. This is just so good. Vehicle upgrade console, I guess, would be good. Uh, what was the other thing? We were going to build a fabricator, so titanium, gold, and coral. What was our uh, base hull strength? Oh, that is close. Okay, I'm gonna rebuild this. I just wanted to see the hull strength. Wow. Okay, well this is fine. We'll we'll reinforce it after this. That was really close. We did bring enough reinforcements. I think we planned for two. Lithium and titanium. Look at look at our base, guys, in the mushroom forest. How cool is that? So good. Let's grab the rest of the titanium here. Lithium. We'll just grab as much as we can. Uh, don't need the power cell yet. Table coral. And then, like, that's it. All of our essentials are built. Uh, sure. That's actually a significant amount. I think that covers everything that we were going to build, like, as the essential thing. Uh, oh, the fabricator we said we were going to build. And I have enough. Good. Look at that planning, guys. That planning that we executed? Exceptional. Oh, this thing chewed through that mushroom real fast. Real fast. I think you can place the reinforcements anywhere and they don't really matter, right? Uh, let's eat. And then, uh... I built in the mushroom forest. Which one is it? I have no idea. I, I'm not sure. You guys called it the mushroom forest. I'm just learning. <laughs> I don't no freaking clue. Was there anything else? I know we brought, like, a couple of extras here and there. But I think that's, like... I think that's it. For, uh, for crucial building stuff. Like, yeah, we can make some lockers. Uh, oh, we were going to do the indoor grow bed. Right? To plant, like, seeds and stuff. But we don't have enough. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Stabilizing. I think we're okay. <clears throat> Guy, you don't need to worry about the water. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll see it. I will see that one. Trust me. I don't think we've died from dehydration yet. Famous last words and all. Let's just test out our new moon pool. Yeah, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. Let's check on our mushrooms here. Look at this! Now, do I have to... I think I have to, like, replant. So if I do... four of these... Eat, I think each one turns into a mushroom. Like, is that how she works? 
something like that. I guess we have space for even more, but... Let's get this thing pumping. This should last for quite a while. Don't forget to plant the beacon. Oh, that's a good point. I will. I will. Don't you worry. We totally brought one. Nailed it. Uh, mushroom base. Oh, let's just take a look at it. I wish that it didn't have to have that one support leg there. That's a bit unfortunate. But I, you know what, it's fine. Maybe I could have built like that, uh, reinforcement platform or whatever. Uh, Warlord, the main point of this base, this, I think all future, uh, additions will happen here. And we'll eventually deconstruct some of the stuff at the other base, uh, and move it here. This will become like our main base, I think. It's currently, uh, about halfway from the entrance to the other alien facility that we're going for. So, uh, that's, that's the main plan there. Alright, I think with this last little bit of, uh, of titanium that we have, we'll build a locker, and then we'll just store this extra stuff in here so we don't have to take it right now. We just want our essentials, really. That includes changing the upgrades on the peeper. Uh, you can bring the upgrades here. Yeah, exactly. We can we can grab anything from that other base and bring it here, which is pretty good. Uh, access. Oh, I actually need the upgrade station, don't I? I think I need the vehicle upgrade station to change these. I thought we could change these on the fly. Guess not. Guess not. Computer chip, copper wire. Computer chip is... Javier saying that I don't. Huh. Maybe I have to, maybe I could do it in the water. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Oh! Ah, uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I can't take them out because there's stuff in them. See, but this one wasn't. Maybe I just had to select, like, the, the right one inside. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Wild Carta and Fall Up. Thank you guys for the new Prime subs. That's really nice. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, we'll put in the uh, perimeter defense and the hull reinforcement. I... I think I'll probably swap for this, and then we'll store these storage modules. Because the purpose of going out to that second alien facility is not to uh, gather a bunch of stuff. Hey, Kim, what's up? Says, uh, love your Subnautica gameplay, but missed the first two streams, so I'm a little behind. I'm watching the YouTube vids as they come out. That's awesome. I think we've done, like, uh... Six or seven streams, probably. All systems online. Man. Okay, guys, we're, like, set. We're set. Now, we were heading north-northwest. And we want it to be about 1,500 meters from our original base. So we have another 500 meters to go to find that entrance, I think. Ninth stream. We've done nine, we've done nine streams, guys. <laughs> Can you believe that? 
Holy frick. This is the first game that I've streamed, like, as many consecutive episodes in a row, because I'm just, like, I love it. Okay, 1,200. I'm really hoping that our directions were correct. Yep. Boom! Oh, my babies are up there. I kind of want to scan this thing. How risky is that? Pretty risky? I need to sneak up behind him. Stuck, so this is perfect. The amp eel. Oh, look at him. It looks like something you find in the Saskatoon River. Let's check this guy out. Powerful and inquisitive predator found inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. Electric prongs. Torso mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current, which the ampule uses to incapacitate its prey. Is something attacking me as we speak? Uh, jaws. A large, flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth is if a faster, stronger, and hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the ampule. Avoid or incapacitate. One of the things we still need to make is that stasis gun. Okay, we're going down. Is the Saskatoon River a biome in Subnautica? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, it's where I was born. In the river that we... Uh, I've gone fishing uh, in the river like maybe three times in my entire life. Like, not common at all. And uh, there used to be these fish we would call sucker fish. And you'd, you'd catch them and they're the ugliest fish ever. But they're like... Their fish are... Their lips are like totally like the size of their it's disgusting anyways and they just were gross uh napalms sticky <laughs> thank you so much for the bits thanks for the bits man that's really kind thank you so much stock trades with ali thanks for the new prime sub and evalfu thanks for the new prime sub as well you guys are great thank you so much okay we're going in there is there are a couple of things that we could use from down here. Holy sick son of a bitch. Look how much damage it did. Wait. Shit, we got all turned around. We're gonna have to repair this bad boy. This is a very high stress environment that we're in. May we grow some ghost weed. Take our underground drug production to a whole. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's cool. There was something there, and I'm pretty sure it just disappeared. We've seen this, right? I don't know that we need the blood oil. I'm just kind of grabbing a few things for whatever reason. I will take the rubies. Oh, it's a warper! It's a warper! Shit. Navigating. Guys, look it, we found it. Is he still
still on us? Oh, shit. Okay, forget it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we've found the entrance to the base. Remember this? This is like our key... This is our... This is good. Was it just me or were there two? I don't know. I, I saw one and then I saw multiple little rifts being created. And I decided that I wasn't interested anymore. <laughs> okay, I don't need to carry this. This is too much. And ghost weed? Do I need... This is taking up too, too much space. What? Okay. This might hurt us a bit. What is hitting us? Oh! These little guys. Yeah, that'll show them. <laughs> there was some of that sulfur stuff in the green that I'm going to look for. Whoops. What? Almost lost our habitat there. You know what we should have checked in our scanner room? We should have checked for, uh... Nickel. Speaking. Oh no. Those critters don't enjoy my scanner. I see that. Look at that. I think is that that ghost Leviathan thing that we read about? <gasps> Just be cool. This is our safety zone. Oh my god. We need to be at 800 meters to find the entrance, right? I know that hurts us, but we're fine. There's actually so much of it down here. I actually- I do have to scan it. I do have to do a scan of one. Frick. Ah. Uh, Hey, Grin, thank you so much for the new sub. Uh, Sweet Devil, thanks for the bits. Says, long time YouTube sub. Just wanted to say thank you for all those amazing hours of entertainment. You helped me through some hard times. Keep being amazing. I hope you're doing okay, man. Honestly, I mean that. Hope you're doing better. And Krill Apocalypse. <laughs> thanks for the new sub as well. Magnetite and all that stuff we can always get. I'm looking more for the... For the rare treats. Hey, homemade sundew. Thanks, man. Thanks for the four months. That's so generous. Thank you, dude. Guys? We found nickel ore. Hell yeah. I want to actually find out where that's at. It has application- okay, nothing. It doesn't say where, like, specific places to find it. Usually found in abundance underground. Yeah, I found nickel right there. How cool is that? Just sitting there. Oh, that was sneaky. There's lithium hiding behind that. 
See, look at all this... the cave sulfur stuff. That sound that we make when we're in pain... Aw. Oh, look! It's like, it grows... That's cool. It seems to, like, grow around it. That's neat. Uh, man, do I want to maybe, like... Oh, I left all the storage things behind, right? Yeah, I did. Good planning. Great planning. It's fine. That's decent. That's not the purpose of why we're here anyway. I'm honestly shocked that we found our way down here so quickly. Even, I know we went up there and we were like, it's north-northeast or whatever. North-northwest of our base, 1,500 meters, but that was like, bang on. Please stay away from me. Oh, shit. Here we go. Found the pillars. Yeah, exactly. We have that base pretty close, so if we want, we can come back here. And we know what's here now, right? So it's that's super helpful. Because we needed that nickel stuff for... I don't even remember. It was some type of... No, it was this. That's right. We need one more nickel ore. Whoops. I wonder if... Uh, if we find that, like, in... Um those outcrops, similar to how we find all the other stuff. Don't tell me. But, uh, hopefully we can do a scan for that at some point. I'll keep my eye out to see if there's any one that we can just easily grab. Oh, warper. Not important. Yeah, let's, uh, av let's avoid him, please. Ah, frick. Here we go. This better be worth it. <laughs> We came a long way for this. Look at this. Specimen research data. That is not what I was expecting. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. These, this entry seems to reference the common peeper. <laughs> Shows no infection, or no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs every within four days. Show symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. Enzyme 42. Shows advanced learning behaviors, uh, shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Okay. Uh, Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting sites. Embryo shows no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs has been retained for continued high-priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned to designator Sea Emperor. 
bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers? Uh, while it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. Wow. So basically... There's something at 1.4 kilometers, these bone samples, that we have to get somehow, right? Well, frick. And here I was thinking, this might be a cure. <laughs> I was wrong. I'm gonna get my beacon here and I'm gonna put it at the entrance of this base. See, like, look at these little things that come up when we reach. I think this is where the cubes are. Don't worry, I know we're gonna die here soon. Maybe we just have to drop them on. So, the deepest we can go in the Seamoth is 900 meters. Which means we definitely need to find that Cyclops. That has to happen. And the, the fact that we can't, we haven't even found, like, we haven't been able to find a, uh, a thing to scan for the Cyclops. Like, look at this. I wonder if we just, like, missed this earlier, like, somewhere long ago. <sighs> yeah, Sophia. Yeah, I know. That's where we took a cube from, but I was just seeing if it would, like, re-engage there somehow. So I have to admit, I'm a little bit confused on where we should go now, because the only other... The, there's two locations. Oh, frick. Let me sit in here for a second. There's two locations that we know about. Uh, there is the alien facility location, the thermal power facility. This is 1,200 meters down. We still can't really get to that, right? And then we also have the... This new thing at 1.4 kilometers, so 1,400 meters down. Which is pretty scary. Um, we could try... We could try the samples from the, from the stuff in here, maybe? We could try that. Because they were talking about bones, bone samples, so maybe. No. Oh, unless that's not bone. Huh. Welcome aboard, Captain. There were there was another room lower that had some samples in there, but it was it was this stuff. It was all the this warper stuff. I don't think so. Oh. The scanner just popped up. You guys see that? Did you guys see the scanner pop up there? I'm sure it did. Oh, here. Hold on. Oh, conveyor system. Oh. Production line. Production line? Okay. <laughs> That's good. High quality research we've done there. 
Perhaps it's time to have a scanning exploration spree. Uh, yeah, I think so. One of the things that we could kind of use the scanner room for is to scan for like those rare materials, which might lead us into different biomes. Or actually, if we scan for wrecks, maybe we scan for a wreck and maybe we can find like a cyclops part or something. Because if we could get to, where is it? This thermal power facility, it doesn't tell us where it is though. It's inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity, 1200 meters down, maybe. Let's see what let's see what's out this way. Have we been out to this side? We'll make sure that we exit through the same way so that we can place that beacon down. Uh, Javier is saying, at this point in the game, you really just have to explore to find the next milestones. Really? Uh, CPK, you can scan for, like, um, salvage and stuff like that. It's really interesting that, to this point, we've always had, like... We've always had something that was, like, a clue or whatever that we could investigate. Oh, look at this. We can't go down here. Whoa. This is where we want to go, I think. Might put the beacon here. Do I dare? Oh, it's too hot. Okay, I think we may have found... Maybe that's the thermal power place. Maybe. Maybe. 